Hi everyone, uh, firstly I'd just like to extend our best wishes for everyone at Glasgow Warriors to you guys over at Harp and McLeod. I know it's a difficult time of uh, being locked down with your families in this uh, unprecedented time with COVID-19. So basically today we've got a couple of recipes, one for the kids, a healthy snack hopefully, and then another recipe for the parents once you get your kids to bed you can crack open a bottle of wine and hopefully it'll be a nice healthy option. Hi everybody, so as promised here's the evening meal for when the kids are all hopefully tucked up in bed. So we made a really simple meal, um, it's basically a kind of cheap ramen dish. So we've got some nice uh, ribeye steak, we have some uh, pak choy with some soy sauce on top of it that I prepared earlier. And then we have some fresh lime, we have coriander, fresh chilli and then some fresh ginger as well to, uh, to garnish it and some um, spring onions, spring onions. So basically what I've done, I prepared this all earlier just so you guys don't have to watch me. Um, I've got some rice noodles here in the, in the bowls that I've already boiled, literally three or four minutes. Uh, you can get them from any supermarket. Uh, we have some miso paste here. So basically I've put in 500 mils of water and three teaspoons of miso paste. That gives you kind of a nice broth. I've got some sesame oil, some sesame seeds as well. So the sesame oil, I'll just do this right now actually. You put a dash of this once your rice and are cooked. Just a wee bit, it's quite strong, it's toasted sesame oil, so literally a wee drizzle on your rice noodles. I kind of like to season as I go, so you don't have to add stuff in at the end, hopefully a bit of soy sauce. And then we're going to chuck the fresh ginger in with the miso paste, just to finish it off, so it's not completely raw. Again, just as much as you like, kind of to flavour it, I'll bring that back up to the boil. Basically, as soon as you're done, so the order I've done it in, I blanch the, uh, the pak choy, put a bit of soy sauce, use the same water, put the rice noodles in, three or four minutes, they're done. Cook my steak, so this was 450 grams, so that'll be enough for two people. Cooked it for two minutes on each side, and then put some sesame seeds on it, and then cooked it for a further 30 seconds on each side on probably a medium high heat just so the sesame seeds didn't burn that gives you if you come and look here probably a bit closer to the rare side of medium rare that's why I like it obviously put it on however you want to do it but remember it will still cook a wee bit because this uh, broth is quite hot when it goes on your noodles so we'll start layering up now so I'll get the pak choy again covering the soy sauce you put a bit of that down on top of your noodles I've also, I've used one, sorry, one pak choy each with two kind of heads of pak choy for a two person meal. Shut them on, excuse the presentation, it's not the prettiest. One more on there, so I'll just get that all on. Right, so that's the pak choy on. You probably, it's a good thing to keep the, uh, the stock boiling until you're ready to use it. And it stays nice and hot. You can heat up your noodles again. Probably two ladle full each. Check that on top of the noodles like so. One and a half ladles to start. Then you've got the fresh ginger in there as well, which is lovely. So that's your broth. We'll layer it down with some steak and then I'll give it a wee season first. So you don't have to season too much when it's all put together. Layer this on top. More. A bit of steak there. Chop up this coriander. You come back again. Apparently, coriander to quite a few people tastes like soap. So if you don't like it, you'd have to put it on. But we'll put on some spring onions to finish. A bit more on there. You have coriander on both. Fresh chilli, again, it's just depending on how hot you like it, put on as much as you want. Let's put on a wee bit for the wife. Squeeze the fresh lime. Oops, sorry. And then one more dash of soy sauce. And there you have it. Beef, cheat ramen we'll call it, with pak choy, rice noodles, finished off with some chilli spring onions and coriander. Enjoy!